Hey everybody, this is John McMath with the Static Pain Terminator, and I'm at Dr. Aaron Filler's office in Santa Monica. I'm getting ready to get another MR guided injection. And what you see is, depending on what the injection is, we're going to find out a little bit more as we go in there. I know I'm going to get some Botox and and some other things of operator internus and down the hamstring to try and calm down the inflammation. The last, I think I've had three of these now. Uh, each time, depending on what's numbed or I can't walk, I can't do this, I can't do that. So I'm bringing my assortment in there because I may be walking out on a cane, crutches, or a walker. It just it just depends on what happens. And we'll let you know, report when we get back in there from the actual room. And after talking to Michelle and Dr. Filler, learn a little bit more about exactly what's gonna be done. And uh, we'll report from there. Hi there. So, just wanted to uh, summarize what we're dealing with today and the steps that uh, I've taken. Uh, it seems like the, the primary area that's been problematic in the past, which is where the sciatic nerve with the sciatic notch, is a little better now. It's not so sore up there. Um, a lot of the pain is coming from the mid thigh, and then there's a um, problem in the low pelvis and pelvic floor. And on examination, this proved to be the obturator internus muscle, which is something that we tried to treat by releasing the nerve. The muscle itself is still in spasm. So we had three things to do today. One, um, to go back to the cytic notch, where we've been doing the scar dissolving agents, and do another dose with that. I think we really made a lot of uh, progress there. That whole area in the posterior thigh and upper buttock is really much better. But you're getting sciatic pain starting from the posterior thigh. and um, then uh, uh, the problem with the obturator turnus muscle being in spasm. So um, we did three things. We retreated the uh, cytic notch with the scar dissolving agents. Uh, we went into the obturator turnus muscle, which is being still gone back in and out of spasm. Put in both anesthetic and some Botox to try to really settle that down. That muscle both plays a role in the pelvic floor spasm and also can give you sciatica because they're dependent on that muscle across the sciatic nerve. Um, and then we went down into the upper thigh where we did the nerve release there, which is really the most sensitive one, just about the most sensitive area now, and started in with the scar dissolving agents around the um, surgical site there. Um, and there's, there was a fair amount of scar tissue, so I think that's going to help relieve it. So we're trying to make progress on these mechanical fronts, and then we have several things we're trying to do on the medication front. One, try to suppress the autonomic activity that's causing the burning with commodity patches. Um, try um, uh, to use the lidoderm over the thigh to relieve some of the irritation there. And then we're going to reconsider in a couple of weeks whether there's an underlying neuritis, which in which case we'll try to treat that with some doses of Enbrel. And try to bring down these different components, both mechanically and medically, and try to gradually settle the remainder of this down quickly as possible, but right, yeah. <laughs> step by step so yeah. we know which steps work.